Okay, and the custom reports I'm doing, uh, you know, for you to get money to help or start a uh, help grow or start a business. Uh, I, of course, you know, I show you dozens of places to get grants and low interest loans and stuff like that from government and nonprofit organizations. But I think what's really going on in our country is the stuff that's happening on the internet. And, and what's neat about it, and, and I show you these non-traditional business loans and crowdfunding and stuff like that, all these things that are now on the internet uh, that help you get money for your business. What's great about them it's a place to fail and win at the same time. In other words, there's no guarantee you're going to, you know, like on a crowdfunding site, you're going to get money or on a peer-to-peer -peer loan site that, you know, you're going to achieve your goal. But what happens, even if you fail, you win. <laughs> and that's the neatest thing about it. Because, see, you know, like on crowdfunding or even peer-to-peer -peer loans, so you have a small business and, and you're trying to grow your little business and, and maybe you need some you know, uh, whiz-bang technology computer or something you want to do or a new coffee machine or whatever. So you go on a peer-to-peer -peer website, you know, uh, or a crowdfunding site and try to raise money for this thing you have to grow your business. So your business is going to grow and everything. But see what happens. Even if you don't make your goal, you're contacting potential customers. People either come in your shop or people that you know, will hire your services or whatever, because they're the people that you're going to contact about the crowdfunding site. So now what's interesting, see, it's easier to contact them for something like a crowdfunding site or, uh, or a, a, a sexy peer-to-peer -peer site than say, oh, I'm just another person trying to sell you something. You know? So it's a way to get attention and show people how great you are at, at what the heck you do. You know, so it, it's a door opener. I mean, so many people, I, I, I've interviewed maybe 700 to 1,000 people that use crowdfunding and, and these peer-to-peer -peer sites. And what happens is that because it's there in the public in a place that we'd never advertise and it's free, see, doing these things is free, absolutely free. <laughs> people come in the door, oh, I didn't know you did that. You know, uh, so that they're not so interested in giving you a loan or, or uh, uh, your crowdfunding site, but they want to buy what you have. You know? So they become customers or, or, or they become distributors. Oh, you have that? I sell those things. So I could sell them for you <laughs> and we could both make a lot of money. See, and that's what's so neat about the new ways of advertising or, or raising funds for a business or an idea or whatever. See, now you have, see, getting money in the traditional ways, you go to investment bankers or something like that or, or, or traditional bankers and they say no and you're out of the game, right? <laughs> so you get no leverage out of that. It's one person saying no, you go and knock a door, they say no, and, and the game is over. Here, you're, you're broadcasting, see? And so even if people say no, people are, are seeing this and you're you're showing yourself to more people you didn't even know to ask. So you didn't even know to ask those people, <laughs> but they, they were attracted by the side of it. And also it, it's a way you know, to have an excuse to market to these people. So if you're telling everybody in your neighborhood about your small business because you, you want to raise 10 grand for the new espresso machine, <laughs> yeah, that means you're actually doing, <laughs> you know, you're making a sales call, but it's free and it's showing how great you are doing this stuff. You know? <laughs> and they're actually more likely to, to give you money because they want to use your new machine. But it's, it's the same with services. You know, you're a contractor, you're, you're whatever you are, you know, and, and you go to like potential clients to raise money for your contracting business. So so really you're getting sales too. And then people see because these are platforms are public, people who come to these platforms all the time, you know, just <laughs> for curiosity or, or look for ideas, they're potential clients too. So <laughs> that's what's so neat about the internet now. <laughs> it's a place you, you fail, but you're winning. Where else are you going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> you're actually sometimes winning more by failing because stuff comes to you you never knew to ask about. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the name of the game. We're all sitting here trying to think of the perfect thing to do. And we don't know what that is, tell you the truth, until we bang into it by accident doing something else. And they, then we look brilliant <laughs> because we did it. <laughs> but we never knew ahead of time. So that's what's neat. So there's always more than one way to 
do anything in this society. <laughs> and so that's why I'm doing these reports, custom reports that show you all the different ways and show you examples of people who do it these different ways and how to do it different ways. You know, whether it, it's getting grants or free services or stuff on the internet for finding investors for your business or, or raising, you know, crowdfunding money or even peer to peer loans, you know, which are cheaper than you get anywhere else. <laughs> and many times, you know, these things don't even ask for credit reports. <laughs> That's what's so neat about it, too. So it's really all about expanding the mind. And that's what I'm trying to help people do.